But I certainly would like to uh, thank our witnesses uh, for joining us uh, today to help examine the Senate uh, confirmation process for presidential appointees and evaluate potential reforms that could help streamline the process and address vacancies and extended confirmation delays to strengthen leadership at our federal agencies. Every administration uh, deserves to choose qualified leaders uh, to helm critical agencies and to uh, help effectively govern our nation. And providing a swift confirmation process without excessive bureaucratic roadblocks for these nominees is key to not only exercising the Senate's responsibility to advise and to consent, but also ensuring presidential appointees will be accountable to Congress and to the American people. In recent administrations, we've seen firsthand how vacancies at top federal positions, in many cases caused by prolonged confirmation process, have compounded significant challenges the federal government must tackle. For example, there are currently more than 180 Biden administration nominees being considered by this body. Many of these very qualified individuals could be helping to address the problems that Americans face from the COVID-19 pandemic to significant threats to our national security. Instead, they're still waiting on this body to act before they can start their important work. The Constitution grants the Senate with an essential check on executive power, the authority to provide advice and consent on many presidential appointments. But the number of appointments and the increasingly arduous process to nominate and to confirm appointees has become burdensome and far, far beyond what the framers envisioned. Recent reports estimate that the Senate has taken an average, an average of 103 days to confirm President Biden's nominees. And the average confirmation process took about twice as long for the two previous administrations. Not only do these extended timelines delay getting qualified leaders into vital positions, but protracted vacancies also limit Congress's ability to conduct effective oversight. Today's hearing is an important opportunity for this committee to discuss potential reforms that will help address these concerns. This is not the first time the Senate has considered this issue. Ten years ago, the committee helped pass into law the bipartisan Presidential Appointment Efficiency and Streamlining Act of 2011, which reduced the number of positions requiring Senate confirmation and established working groups that provided additional recommendations on how to make the presidential appointment process more efficient, including by streamlining the paperwork and the background check process for nominees. And while this bipartisan bill was an important step forward since it was signed into law, even more Senate-confirmed positions have been created, and many recommendations from the working group have not yet been implemented. This has contributed to an increasingly complex confirmation process for nominees that can eat into valuable time. The Senate could be voting to important legislative efforts and limiting an administration's capacity to implement a policy agenda. In addition to improving the government's efficiency and effectiveness, federal vacancy experts and good government groups have argued that additional reforms, including reducing the number of Senate-confirmed positions, can also save taxpayer dollars. The Congressional Budget Office estimated those savings could be as much as $82 million. Today, I'm pleased to welcome a group of experts who can provide unique perspectives on how we can reform the presidential appointment process, address the growing number of federal vacancies, and incentivize every administration to quickly submit nominees. I am hopeful that on a nonpartisan basis, we can examine the facts and ensure that our federal government is uh, able to better serve the American people for generations to come. Now I'll turn over to uh, Ranking Member Portman for his opening comments.